So, you, when you look at your swing, you could see a fault when you filmed it. The tucking up of your arms yeah. after the golf ball, and that sort of coming across it, weak, toeies, cutties, not very nice shots, losing yardage, okay? And I think you, had, you mentioned, as we said in the lesson there, about your grip being a bit weak. Mm. You mentioned it, but didn't really change it. The one time you did change, you actually had a really good shot. It was, oh, fantastic. And then the next shot later, you went back to kind of this yeah. grip, which we can see on the left there is a weaker grip in comparison yeah. to the one on the right. Yes. We can see your logo. So having your sort of like, can I see the logo? Yes. Now I can pull the trigger. When that club has been swung, the only real thought for you now is, when you send the golf club back, is kind of, maintaining that width there so if you look at the width of your swing here mm -hmm. trying to keep this here not going to narrow things up and get tucked this left hand one okay back to halfway but as you start going back you can see the left arm already bending there and really collapses quite a lot yeah. now your left arm's still going to hinge a little bit but takeaway wise now again left arm for me does look a little bit straighter there mm -hmm. as you get the top of the back swing it's still straight to it's the still, ball. It's still, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to say it's going to be, and I wouldn't expect, and it's so nice, I don't want to be fully straight, because it's, it's hard yeah. locking it, okay? But at least from there, now you're maintaining a bit more width, you're not collapsing so much. So as the club comes back down now, your hands can return back to where they want to, okay? Still see the logo, club face is square. If you come back and show the logo impact on this one, with the logo not being shown at setup, rather than having the club face aiming that way, the club's aiming there. Mm -hmm. and I think in time, then you start trying to pull it left, which gives you this kind of like really sort of tucked up field after shot and all a bit narrow as opposed to a nice kind of, sort of extended through there. Now, your right arm there, you can see, is sort of slightly softening there. That's into more of a hinge to me, okay? Yeah. Again, change sometimes. It's only going to be inches and small amounts. It's never going to be, I wouldn't expect after 30, 30 minutes, it's only go full width up there and then be like, phew, look like Rory McIlroy. Yeah. But the ball flight you can see is far more powerful. Yeah. The bad one you get is a bit of a push now, not a slice, certainly a good strike still. If you get that on a constant basis, it could be more the pack issue, which we can discuss, obviously, if you want to do next time. But mm -hmm. for me, it was like three out of ten were pushed to the right, and yeah. they were good strikes. They weren't losing yardage. They're going to be green hard, maybe in the bunker or whatever. They're not going to be like 20 yards short and cutting. And then if you put a longer club in your hands, cut even more. Yeah. It's in play with a much more solid strike that way. So get that grip better. Get your left hand checking. I think for you, it's going to be almost every shot. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> Almost putting your hand on the, on the glass. Yeah, like no, not too far. No. I mean, your left foot's not open, and maybe you thought it might have been. Mm. If your knee's not hurting and you can stick with that position, crack on. If it needs to yeah. get a little bit twingly, then you maybe take your left knee and just uh, open up just a little bit with that left mm. foot. But yeah, otherwise, you know, there's a good functional movement there. Just in the past, the information you were given the ball was an open face, and you try to cure the fault by trying to cure the symptom. Yeah. Which, as we said, is like some of the cough or whatever. Don't cough. It ain't going to cure, is it? Okay, mate. Makes sense. Yeah. Happy day.